So you're going to hear a lot of people say that Wes McCauley was the Vegas Golden Knights hero in Game 1, and it's just not true, okay? Yes, the refereeing was something in that Game 1, but Aiden Hill was the hero for the Vegas Golden Knights in the first game of that series, and honestly, it's not just because the dude made 33 saves on 35 shots in a 5-2 win against the hottest team in the league for the past month. And it's not just because the guy got in a skirmish with Kachuk and the Florida boys within the first five minutes of the game. It's not that either. But at this point, it's 1-1 going to the second period. Florida's got some momentum going with them. And honestly, we know that this Cinderella Cats team has been doing it all playoffs long. The game could have easily turned for them in this direction. But no, this open net that in every other series for the Panthers would have gone in, given them the lead, and given them all the momentum... Somehow, some way, by whatever God that Aiden Hill prays to, he made the paddle save. And the most ridiculous part of this save is that his entire momentum and body is going the opposite direction of where his stick needed to go. He plops it out like a leap of faith, Hail Mary, last ditch effort, and somehow stones Nick Cousins on the doorstep. I couldn't believe my eyes. I don't know if I've seen a more open net than this the entire playoffs, and... I mean, I would have bet you my life savings it was going to be a goal. The fact that this thing did not go in the net, my jaw was on the floor. And it was a game changer for the Vegas Golden Knights. They got the momentum, took control of that game, scored some really beautiful key goals, and bang, they were off to the races took game one on the back of Aiden Hill. Yes, there were a lot of great eight performances on the Vegas Golden Knights side of things, but Aiden Hill tops that list for me. A good Airdrie boy. Got to appreciate a good kid from Airdrie there. Love it. And it was honestly really interesting to see a game like this not go the Florida Panthers way like it has the entire playoffs. Kachuk had a pretty quiet game except for a couple of funny moments like when he rammed himself into the bench or the pizza he threw up in the air to Mark Stone that ended up in a goal. So just a strange way to see the Florida Panthers tonight. Not what I'm used to for this playoffs. But hey, like I told you guys, this is a popcorn series. You're going to want to watch this. It's going to be fun. Buckle up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.